All right, my power absorption units came in and got them moved into the shop. The shipping weight says 800 kilograms. I definitely had my three quarter ton Dodge squatting pretty good, but I managed to unload them using the engine hoist. And I've yet to open them, so let me figure out how to open these boxes. This is the first time I'm seeing these. There's no rust, and I don't see any signs of damage on the crates. So they're actually smaller than I thought they were going to be. Seems to spin. What do we got? Huh. That's nice. It looks like it comes with some uh, some hardware there. So that's good. Probably what I'll do is make a plate or something. I can uh, put an eye bolt in the center. That would make picking it up with the engine hoist a lot easier. Let me try to get that one open. All right, here I got the second one opened up, and take a look at them here. There's a the little data plate. It says 192 volts. Then this coil has a sticker on it that says 24 volts, but I think the difference is how they're wired up, you know, whether they're in series or parallel. So it's supposed to be 192 volts, so I believe that's what it is, that data plate. Let's see here. They don't seem to be damaged from shipping. So the box had no signs of damage and they do appear to be stainless steel just the color here looks like stainless just looking at something some of the machine work or craftsmanship here I think it looks fairly good it's the uh, d is probably just done by hand with a grinder or something. Um, probably some, if I had to guess, some casting flash they removed here. So, I'd say the cleanup isn't probably the best. You see there's a lot of uh, burrs. See that one. So, I'll probably clean this up a bit with the uh, some some kind of deburring tool, just so there's not anything real sharp on it. I don't know how much stress would be out here in the rotors, but having these sharp 
edges definitely create stress risers. So this stuff don't really look the greatest, but you can't see it. Though the only thing I do notice is that I can feel it, and you can see it in the camera. There's actually you know, this surface is not level all the way across. So that's probably not ideal since that's where you'd be mounting this thing, but in my application it's not a big concern because it's just going to be holding a plate and that goes to the load cell. But still, I'm not sure if they're fly cutting that. Almost looks like they cut it one direction and then went the other way. Because here you can see the fly cutter. The machining marks are this curved like that and curved that way here. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. They did include some mounting hardware, so that's nice. Look at this one. Yeah, same story, so. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully, there's another one of these mounting pads on the bottom side. I won't know what that looks like till I get this thing mounted in a frame where I can rotate the housing. But I would uh, recommend they improve whatever operation that is because I don't think there's much of an excuse for that. I mean the deburring and stuff like that, that's, that's fine. This one looks quite a bit better. All the cleanup work looks a lot nicer on this one, but yeah, there's no reason why there'd be such a step right here. Especially if you plan to mount, uh, you know, a plate here, and the plate's gonna be not exactly flat, so. So far, that's probably my only complaint with them. But otherwise, they look good. It's nice to see they're, they look like they're all stainless. Besides the coils, that looks like probably just some mild steel, which is fine. I'll spray some of that corrosion inhibitor on them, or maybe some paint. But so far, I'm pretty happy with them. Glad they made it here undamaged. The crates look good. There's no signs of it. Anybody running a forklift into the side of it or dropping it. So. It'll be a while, but um, I'll follow up with some videos on designing a frame to mount these in and picking out the bearings. And the, the real challenge is going to be getting from this shaft to the hub on a car so there's some work to be done there all right just want to make this quick video show you guys these arrived and it's the largest cost of the project so I think it's gonna kind of force me to get this finished and try to make some money with it thanks for watching bye